Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. Whatever today, guys, is another uh, ranking video. Uh, the band I'm doing today is The Mighty Havoc, as you can see from the title. Um, one of my favorite uh, new wave of thrash bands that kind of came out after the 2000s, kind of keeping that thrash sound alive. Uh, there's kind of a handful of bands I'm really, really into from the new sound, is about maybe five to ten. I'm able to do a list about that one day, uh, top ten, like, uh, you know, post-2000 thrash bands is kind of a good idea. Uh, but for now, we're going to rank the Havoc albums. Um, the band uh, was started in 2004 from Denver, Colorado. Uh, they have five albums in total to date. And I love this band. Every album is solid. It was kind of hard to do the ranking uh, because the quality of the albums are very close together. Um, my ranking, I kind of just went with whichever ones I go back to the most in general. <clears throat> So let's start with the ranking, guys. At number five, I have their most recent album, uh, just entitled Five, or V. Really cool artwork on this one, really like it. It's a digipack, I have it in like a protective uh, sleeve here. Um, but uh, out of the five, I find this one is the one I go back to the least. Uh, really solid stuff though, killer riffs, vocals sound amazing. I love the vocalist of this band, it's one of the standouts of them. Um, he's got a, like, for me, my personal taste, like, the perfect thrash metal voice. It's very gritty and aggressive, but it's very, like, punctuated, and you can still understand everything he says. Um, the riffs are fast and aggressive. Love everything about these guys, but for, like I said, this is just the one I go back to the least. And at number four, I actually have their fourth album, uh, Conformicide. I don't think I, I could have swore I had that one on DVD, but I couldn't find it uh, in, my, in my stack. Uh, so I'll post a picture of it up here for you guys. Uh, really solid album. Song is a little bit more memorable than the uh, number five, in my opinion. A little bit stronger overall. So, like I said, songs are more memorable. I found number the fifth one that they released in 2020. Uh, just to be a, bit, a little bit more, like I've heard, I've heard the songs before kind of sound. Like there wasn't anything too new on it. Uh, but still a uh, good, great album. Uh, the last album... Number four, Conformicide, was released in 2017 on March 10th. And for me, it's number four. And at number three, I'm gonna go with their uh, debut album, which is Burn. Another, again, pretty cool artwork for a uh, thrash band. I love their logo, it's really cool. Uh, there's a picture of the guys, well, the original lineup on the back. And uh, great debut album, super thrashy. This isn't where I came into the band, but quickly after hearing uh, the album that I did come into the band, I grabbed all their stuff right away. Conformicide, I could have thought I had, but I can't find it. If I don't have it, I'll have to justify that and grab the last one. Uh, but I love this album. Really more raw sounding. The, the production's a little bit more raw, which is expected of a, a debut album from an underground band. Uh, but really solid riffs, super heavy songs, really memorable. Um, Melting the Mountain was really good. Category of the Dead is really good. Paths to Nowhere. Not really a weak song in this album. Definitely a great listen. Definitely check it out. And at number two, uh, these two were pretty tough. I love both of these albums. I got them around the same time, which got me into the band. I came across it on YouTube one time. I'm like, fuck, these guys are killer. So I grabbed uh, two other albums right away, and these were the two. And so at number two, I'm going to put Havoc, uh, Time is Up. Love that album cover, it's, it's just epic. Again, I love the logo, really cool, pure thrash album cover. Again, a picture of the guys on the back. And yeah, this is a killer, killer release thrash album. For any thrash head, this is definitely one you have to have in your collection. Actually, all of these really. Uh, but Prepare for Attack, I think was the first song I heard from these guys, or one of the first songs that fucking blew me away. Uh, DOA as well, No Am Amnesty is another one that I heard a single. And uh, just blew me up, uh, blew me away. Love this, love this album. Killer, killer stuff. And uh, number one, I have uh, the uh, third release from 2013 on Natural Selection. Probably my favorite album cover from all of them. Uh, it's really cool. Love the colors. Uh, this one and the other one before this were probably my two favorite covers. And again, there's the guys on the back. And I think they've had the same, they've had the same vocalist the whole time. Some of the other members have kind of changed out, but uh, David Sanchez for the vocals has been consistent. And uh, I love his vocals, one of the reasons I really love this band. For most bands, it's, you know, they, they can have the riffs and the, the quality playing, but if the vocals kind of rub you the wrong way, you'll never get into it. 
I fucking love this guy's vocals. One of my favorites in all, all time, all time in thrash, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, this is my number one for these guys on Natural Selection. Um, uh, give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. I think that actually might have been the first song I ever heard. It fucking, fucking blew me away. The riffs were just super thrashy and fast. Solos like crazy. Drumming was amazing. The guy's vocals were like squealing, but like just fucking amazing. Super heavy. Definitely check this one out. This is my opinion, their best album. But like I said, you can't go wrong with any of their albums. I'm really going to hunt for that conformer side now to see if I can find it in my collection. I couldn't find it quickly when I was going to do this video. Uh, but I have to make sure if I have that or not. And uh, if I don't pick it up. Uh, yeah, so to my number one, guys, on Natural Selection from Havoc. Uh, so let me know down below um, if you guys are into Havoc. I wanted to give them some love. Uh, they're not really a pure underground band. They're kind of, they got some popularity. Uh, but I wanted to give them more uh, exposure and more love on the channel. I love thrash metal. It's one of my favorite, it is my favorite uh, genre of metal of all time. And some great bands keeping the uh, thrash sound alive. And I hope we get a new album from these guys. The last one is in 2020. So we're about due for one next year or two. So I'm really looking forward to an album from these guys. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and give me your ranking for Havoc down below. And until next time, guys, keep it metal.